All right, I've got a matchless lighter that I got, got off of uh, Amazon. What it does, it, it you press a button on the handle and a spark comes between those two uh, sides there and you put it up next to your wick and it lights it. And it's a rechargeable lighter so you never have to buy matches again or a lighter. <laughs> anyway, I'll tell you why I'm doing the fire thing when I come right back. Time to play with some clay. By the way, I'm feeling great today. It was a little recovery time last week, but uh, by Friday I felt great, but I just didn't want to relapse, so I stayed uh, upstairs and uh, took the day and just relaxed. All right. I'm going to make a support for the uh, rabbit when it's in bronze. And, uh, all right, I put the, uh, armature for the, uh, tail into the rabbit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the uh, clay up to the, t near the tail. And that will have clay on it for the, uh, hair of the, or the, of the, uh, tail coming off and touching the rabbit. And I'm I'm gonna make it so that we can take the rabbit off with the tail part, and they can cast that separate, and then weld that part back on, and uh, have it all work out so that uh, the rabbit um, can be cast separate. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that, and I'll be right back when I get ready to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Put the rabbit in position, and as you can see, the wire winds up with his tail. When I put some clay on that uh, piece of metal, I'll, I'll make it so that I can take it off, and that tail part will come with it, so that they can make a mold of the uh, rabbit and the uh, tail at the same time. And when they get ready to Weld it back on, they can just, you know, weld it where it joins up. Camera's right in my way. But I'm going to cut the armature off right there. And, uh, yeah, that works pretty good right there. Now I got to bend this to make it flow a little bit more into the tail. Just like that. So I've got it lined up, now I just have to add clay. All right, I put the uh, rabbit up on my little external mount here so that I can work on it without uh, damaging the, the rabbit. That's kind of going to be hard for you to see what I'm doing because of the angle that I'm working at. I'll come back when I get this done. All right, I'm just going to get the tail ready to permanently put the rabbit next to it.
Okay, I'm going to permanently place the rabbit now. I'm not going to put any wire to cut the uh, rabbit free because I drew these two lines to show where the edge of the uh, wood was so I can uh, come in with a knife and cut down and cut it out. Yeah, you kind of have to be a bit of an engineer to even create a sculpture and have it work out, especially a complicated sculpture like this. Okay, I'm going to heat up this knife because I want to cut through the clay and uh, separate this um, rabbit from the base the way they would do it in the uh, mold room at the foundry. I'm using a silicone covered knife blade because it won't stick to the uh, clay, but heating the, the blade will also help it cut through a little easier. Just got to wipe the soot off the clay, I mean the knife. Okay. It's good that I drew those lines to line up with the uh, base. I just pull the uh, clay away. And there we go. Just push it back in. And just lightly cover the line. When I deliver it to the foundry, I'll show them how to uh, take it apart. Yeah, I like that. That adds a little, just a little bit more. And it won't cost any more to cast. It just gives it a little more fluid movement. Now, I'm going to take this to the foundry. I could probably do it this week. I don't know. Uh, depends on them several things, but uh, I want to get a re-bid on this. And uh, I think it's far enough along that uh, I can get a good bid. Then I can set a price for it. Prairie surprise. All right, everybody. Have a great night, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that 
could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.